Disclaimer, I do not own the clips or music shown. These are used for review and entertainment purposes. Thank you. Hey. Hi, Joe. What do you have for me today? Okay, so, uh... So, um... You know, DreamWorks Animation, right? We decided to make a... A new movie. Uh... You know how, like, when something's a B movie? Huh? We're gonna make a uh, actual B movie with bees. The B movie. And, and it's bees. Get it? B movie. Starring Jerry Seinfeld. Where it's about bees. Basically, this whole movie is a pun fest. A bunch of B puns. Just wanted to make this movie just because of a bunch of puns. No. So, uh, the movie is about the main character, voiced by Jerry Seinfeld, named Barry B. Benson. I have been a minute into someone already with puns. Okay, go ahead. So he meets in with a buck, with a, his friend, and then he also meets up with B Jocks, and then he gets into a uh, a tennis game with humans. Oh, uh, and then he meets this uh, human character, and it's a woman, and when he sees the woman, he says, he says. You like jazz? Is there something I'm supposed to get out of this? Totally won't be a meme years later. And then the human and the bee fall in love. What? Yeah, I said Barry the bee and the human woman fall in love. That is not normal. That is, that is, that is not normal, Joe. Come on, it's normal. I saw a woman kissing a, a spider earlier. So, I saw someone, uh, uh, being in love with a caterpillar and that woman might be cheating on a caterpillar with a ladybug I mean we're the same company that made an ogre and a human fall in love so okay and a donkey and a dragon so we can't say anything but <laughs> the woman already has a boyfriend it is Joe Swanson he's all like hey Peter why is this bee here I don't like this bee. He fall in love with a bee. I'm listening. Yes, they both hate each other. Barry and Joe. They all hate each other through the entire thing. <laughs> and it's a really interesting love triangle. And then they have a fight in the house, even in the bathroom. He's all like, Hey, better! I don't like you. Tries to set him on fire, he tries to drown him, he, he's making a fool out of himself. Of a bee? Yes, and the woman leaves the man for a bee. That is... That's, that's, yeah, 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 because we have to root for our main character. Our main character always got to get the girl. Even if it's an interspecies relationship, that's totally not weird at all. See, now you're getting the, the, the love interest. Yeah, it's still weird. And then, the bee gets in a bunch of hijinks and adventures, including a mosquito being voiced by Chris Rock. A mosquito might talk about somebody's wife for being bald. Look deep into it, sir. I also had a movie with Will Smith called Shark Tale. Ah, anyways, keep going. This is not important.
and Will Smith's character was named Oscar. And then Barry B. Benson is in the store with the human lady. And then he finds out that humans have been using honey. And then he's outraged by this. He's really, really outraged by this. And the human agrees with it. So Barry decides to sue the entire human race. And the human lady is with him on suing the human race. You want a human to sue the entire human race. It makes sense. Barry even gets an interview with B. Larry King. Another B pun. And then they go on trial in the court and it's all over the news and everything. Oh, and even one scene in the court, uh, the, the Barry B. Benson, he's all on a speech about honey and everything. And he was saying, selling honey slaves to the white man. And there's a, an entire table with a bunch of white guys and one black guy. And a black guy starts scooting away slowly from the white people. Why did this movie get racial? Oh, and then there's one scene where his best friend stings a human. Go to the hospital. So, it says that when a bee stings someone, they die. So, uh, does a best friend die? It's a kid's movie. Why would someone die? Of course he doesn't die. Yeah, they sue the human race and they won't use honey anymore. But then, all the plants on Earth are dying. And then, the bee meets up with the human. And they're all talking about it, and they're all sad and depressed. And then Barry B. Benson says, How about a suicide pack? Of course, they say not to do that. Because, of course, they wouldn't do that. But they would just, it was just one line. Mm -hmm. And you just mentioned suicide in a kid's movie. So anyway, they're on a plane and everything. And all the bees work together to start up. Uh, Using honey again. Using this slogan called Thanking Bee. <laughs> Your sense of humor amazes me. And they all live happily and happily be after. That one you forced in. Okay, I won't admit that. Oh, what did you think? It's a fantastic movie. I think it will work very, very, very well. And it totally won't be memed on a bunch many years later. You like jazz? Not jazz. Not jazz.